Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about two products that I have been absolutely loving that you'll see in my favorites video, but I thought it would be worth um, showing you guys how I use these products. And one is my Juno and Co sponge. Yes, I am using a different one, a new one. The one that I typically use is this one, which is, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more sloped and slanted, and this guy is rounded and pretty even. Um, so I use this one today just to give this guy a break. I'm also going to be showing you guys my Sephora puff, and this guy is as soft as a cloud and as cool as a nice breeze. <laughs> So I really love these two products and I wanted to talk to you guys about it and also show you how I've been using them. So if you want more information on these products, let's go. All right guys, so today we are going to be doing a video specifically for the Juno & Co sponge. And also, not really not just that, but just tools that I have been loving. And that sponge is one. And I'm actually using a new one. I switched. I don't know what's gotten into me that when I'm filming, I think it's cool to, or not even cool. I'm now um, whispering to you guys. It's kind of creepy. Do it again. I'm doing it again. Okay. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter thing. And this is in the shade 510. I actually just ordered four. Um, I'm going to use my... Juno and Co sponge. Oh, and this is the one that looks like the little egg. It just has a flat surface. So I'm using this one. I, for the most part, what I've been using since I discovered these is this one, which is flat, as you guys can see. This is rounded, and this is round and then squares up at the top. So um, I decided to try a new one. Even though these, you just give them a quick wash and they are good to go. They're like new. I burned myself yesterday, guys. <laughs> when I added some waves to my hair. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just apply it to my face. This um, Charlotte Tilbury thing is darker than me clearly this one's good for the summer um but i wanted to use it and i should have probably picked a foundation that is not as golden as this one i could have gone with one of my lighter ones i have a migraine this morning it's right here i can feel the throbbing and the lights are actually bothering me just a little but <clears throat> i really wanted to film so look guys, All right guys, so this is what everything looks like after I've applied my foundation and after I've gone in with this amazing sponge. So everything looks really good, really even, and that was probably two pumps. And the thing with this um, foundation is that the pumps are slightly smaller, so I can really do one pump half my face with one pump, and that's really what happened. I ended up having a little extra, so I just went over my cheeks, but it's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty concealer today. So I couldn't find two of my concealers, which this was one of them, and the other one was the NARS one in the pot. I'm like, where the hell is it? Because I have specific a specific area for the items that I use regularly, and I just couldn't find it. So then, um, Going through my foundation today, I saw it and I know who put it in there because I also found my Dior 3D 
primer, my lash primer. And I'm looking at some other things in there. I'm like, that's not where they belong. And it was my beautiful little son. <laughs> my Costa Rica liner is in there too. I used it yesterday. Whatever he can get his hands on, he always just puts away in the drawers, which is really cute and good because that means he's going to help with cleanup, right? Okay, so today I'm going to use my Patrick Star Powder, but I'm going to use it with another new tool that I have been loving, and it's the Sephora Puff, and I'm using it. And let me tell you guys, this thing is so soft. I think they call it like the Cloud Puff. It's $10. It's incredibly soft. It's softer than any other puff I have. And I have the Laura Mercier one, it's super soft, but guys, this is like a little cloud. And I also have an Esam one that doesn't compare to how soft it is. The mini Esam is probably as soft as this one, but the larger ones don't feel as soft as this. They are so amazing. And I think that if you're somebody that uses puffs to um, apply your powder, or if you use it, you know, just for your makeup, you guys should definitely look into them because they are amazing. All right, guys. So I'm going to be using the Patrick Star powder. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna be using my Sephora Dirty Powder Puff. It's dirty. Um, but the reviews on this thing are pretty amazing. Everyone always talks about how you can wash it and it doesn't lose its softness and um, how amazing it is and it has i think five stars and it has quite a bit of reviewers on there which reminds me i should probably write a review i like to write reviews for things that i like or things that i feel like have been doing an amazing job um not so much the negative stuff i'm not like when you guys think about it i hardly ever mention things that have not worked out for me or that i don't like and I just don't want that to be the nature, you know, like I'll, if somebody asks like, oh, have you tried this? Do you like this? And if I don't, I'll be honest about it, but it's, I don't like to bash products that didn't work out for me because they may work out for somebody else. So, all right guys. So this is what everything looks like. I am noticing that under my eyes, it looks a bit creepy and Fenty and Charlotte don't like to play together. No, it's that's exactly what it is. I know because this has happened to me before, but after I set my face, then I can go back and smooth out any creepiness. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do my mascara, my eyebrows, and then we'll be back. I have to move fast. My sister's on her way. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this powder from the Be A Light palette, and as you guys can see, everything is looking good. And I wasn't able to fix, well, kind of fix my under eye. It's just, I don't have time to fix it. It looks better than it did, but now I have full-blown confirmation that it's Charlotte and Fenty that I can't mix. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and my Becca brush. I'm going to use Pillow Talk blush. It looks like this. And for my lips, I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown, um, what is this called? Juicy Date. There's no way I can pronounce what this product actually is, but it's like a glossy balm. All right, guys, and this is going to be my makeup for today. But again, the reason I filmed this is because I really wanted to show you guys, even though you've seen me use this sponge over and over again, just how amazing this sponge is and how beautiful it leaves your complexion. This sponge literally blends out the smallest amount of product and makes you look full coverage. It just moves the product around beautifully. It gives you coverage instantly and you end up looking at the amount of product you actually use consistently 
and go that's too much product i've been using too much because this will literally just extend and blend the product out onto your skin with very little effort one of my friends tried it and she didn't like it she said that um, she found that her makeup looked like it was sticking to her dry patches and it wasn't working out for her but i have a sister that also has dry skin and has been using the sponge and her skin looks fantastic so the difference may be just the texture of the skin so i would say that if you're someone with texture this sponge may enhance your texture i don't have texture in my skin and i'm not dry so i don't know you know how that would wear if if or how my makeup would look if i did have texture dry patches they are both people that I very much um, listen to and whose opinions I value. So I would say that if you are dry and if you have dry patches um, or texture on your skin, proceed with caution. But it is a $6 sponge and I feel like at that price it's safe to say that you should probably try it and this may be a game changer for you. My friend you know, didn't have an issue with spending the money on the sponge she's like oh well i tried it you know big deal um because it's not like it's twenty dollars it's not like a ten dollar sponge it's it's six dollars so i'm gonna leave my link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it you don't have to use it um but i do get five dollars towards a purchase every time you guys use it and someone has already used it so thank you for that this puff feels cool when you apply it to your face like it legit feels like cool um it's super soft it's beautiful to apply your powder but it also blends your powder out for you so when you're ready you can just kind of go in and buff the powder into your skin or buff it off and at ten dollars it's an amazing price because puffs tend to be pretty pricey i'm going to be washing this one and i'll write an update down below and letting letting you guys know just what it looks like or how if anything's changed but so far i have to say that i'm really amazed and surprised at this puff and um I would continue to buy it just because this mofo feels good so i wanted to share that with you guys because i feel like those are two gems um that i have recently found and that i've been enjoying and i figured i should tell you guys please be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the products that i use today also please be sure to like this video subscribe and leave a comment for me porfa please this migraine is killing me so i need to wrap this up and i can see that my eyes are puffy so thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys soon bye